Good morning, guys. Welcome back to Banished. This is the beautiful Tom Sawyer mod North 6.2. And we are at the moment trying to get our tools up and running. Now, I have had a break from this. In the sheep run, I have got one person in each run. And it occurred to me that I can swap them between runs. And that means that I can get this smith's workshop with somebody in it. So this one is making iron and this one is being built. <laughs> okay, now we've got somebody in the charcoal pit. We've got somebody, yeah, we're making charcoal, the bloomery charcoal and iron ore yeah they need charcoal they've got iron ore here and charcoal that's fine you can only put one person in each this one needs to make iron he's short of everything everyone's short of everything at the moment and this one's going to make tools so we have a storehouse here we've got a lot of wool and up here we are looking at our trading docks. Right, okay. Now, let's have a think about this. We're going to need a tool shed here. And that would be a very nice little thing to put in. So if we look for storage, storage shed, tool shed, I need glass for that, which I haven't got. Oh, isn't that pretty? Does it come in different colours? Different roofs. I think we'll have that roof. And I think it needs to go close to these tool makers. So I think we're going to put it... Hang on. That's the woodcutter cabin. Yeah, he's doing good there. So this tool shed... It won't go in the middle there. Mm. I think that the best place for it is actually right there. Let's put that one there. And that's one that can't be built at the moment. So you might as well hold on to that and not get the logs in it. Now, what are we short of? Wood. Yeah, we are really short of wood. So, let's... Have we got any labourers? We have not. We are very short of people, but there are people who may not be able to do their work. Harvest trees. So let's, let's harvest these trees here and see how we get on there. Now this woodcutter's cabin, it ha he has harvested out to his circle. So we're going to take this one down and move him out to here. So if we take that building down okay and then out here we'll run a road and it's quite a difficult decision on roads on this sort of thing because let's run that road straight up here okay and then if we put the woodcutter's cabin where are we woodcutter cabin um, I want that wood there, so he's going to have to go mm -hmm. there. Okay, let's run the road to him. In fact, he's going to want, let's hold down shift and run it up to there, because they're going to go that way anyway. Okay. That's good. We don't have any builders or labourers or anything because we are short of tools. So this is not going to get built until we have a builder. So in fact, have we made any iron? We have some iron. Okay. So let's take... I should not have got rid of that. Let's take you out of there and let's make you into a builder and we'll get this one built. 
and we're going to run very, very slowly at the moment. We have 10 people without tools and a woodcutter without a house. So if we can get the woodcutter going, everything will be a bit better. It's quite a tricky stage of the game, this, guys. Our food is fine. Firewood is okay. We have some herbs. Clothes are low. And we have wool. So we will be starting to put in some cottages soon. Oh, that's the chapel. They want a priest. I don't have anyone... For, I do not have anyone to work as a priest. So, what are we doing on building? Are we building this one? Because I want to put a hold on that. Uh, tool shed is on hold. Trading dock. Let's put a hold on that. And the mine has a hold. Yeah, we'll have to put the mine in soon. Wooden bridge is on hold. Quarry is on hold. We've got a lot on hold which is good and the smith's workshop is being built of course it will take time because they have no tools patience patience look at all these deer have they have we still got deer in this area i wonder if we have to move the hunting cabin interesting thought there interesting thought and i think we'll also clear all the wood from here as well. It's quite close to home, they can do that. So we've got logs here. This guy is making firewood. And I think we've got two people making firewood, yes. And I think that's necessary because they use a lot. Yeah, we've got no we've got one child there, one child there, we've got a six year old child there, a child there, yeah. We don't need any homes at the moment it's very very difficult at the moment because we don't have any way of telling where we are until we get glass and bricks we can't get a town hall and oh look at these deer are they going to go through the hunting yes they are yeah good run out and grab a deer how you'll kill it without tools i don't know so it's very difficult when you don't have a measure but I know that Tom Sawyer is working on the most wonderful thing, which is like a sort of ruined henge. Let's get one person in there. Smith's workshop. I want this one to make iron tools from iron, charcoal and wood. And we are going to put one person in there. Okay. And we will take one person out of there. Oh, I've taken two out. Not good. So I want one person in there. And I want one person in here. Not of one. I need two. Why won't it take two? Possibly because one guy is a woodcutter. So why don't we... Where's this woodcutter? What does a woodcutter count as? What do you count as, mate? Woodcutter. That makes sense. Stop, stop, stop. Right. Let me have a look here. Ah, here we are. Let's take that down by one. Okay. And then that should give us the ability to iron tools, yeah. One in there, one in there, one in there. Come on, mate. Oh, you're a... Hmm. I was using the woodcutter as a builder, I think. Okay, we've got that built, so let's take him out. Right, and then the... Right. So let's take that down by one. I'm still trying to get somebody in here. Let's make that two. He's not going in, is he? They're not going in. And they must count as blacksmiths. Two of three. One of these counts as a blacksmith. So we're going to take blacksmith three. That makes it right. Interesting, I hadn't realised, but one of these must count as a blacksmith. Okay, so, 
I'm not saying we've got the wherewithal to get tools, but we, we've got iron ore, we've got firewood, we have someone in the charcoal pit making charcoal, and we have someone in the bloomery making iron bloom. That's charcoal. And where does the arm bloom get stored? It probably doesn't. Right. Okay. We are short of people. We have nomads. <laughs> oh, yes, please. Come in. And one of you can be a builder, one can be a labourer. That would be wonderful. But before we do that, I think I'm going to put one person back in here. I do not want to lose my sheep by accident. Good. So we've got a builder. Um, am I building anything at the moment? I'm building that woodcutter's hut. So we can just move on with that. Now, people are going to need... These are big yellow circles here. And does that do a yellow circle? No, but these both do yellow circles. So we don't want people living here. That can be storage. But I think the time has come to start building our log cabins and hang on does this have a no that doesn't have a bad circle so I think a place by the river would be good and I think if we line up the doorway with that bit that's going to look wonderful just a I'm just looking at how wide these are. Those are basically as wide as you want them. Okay. Let's put our first log cabin in. I think that is the place for the, the first cabin, guys. Hmm. Would that be better? Can't be put there because of that. Just thinking here, but we could put it right there. I actually like that. Let's put our first log cabin there because we're going to need a house soon anyway. And on the side of it, we are going to put a workshop. So we're going to put a road to there, to there, to there. This is going to be storage, maybe stockpiles. That would be nice. Let's put storage there. Okay, can't do that. We'll put dirt road there. And I think maybe a general stockpile. No, no, no. Think, girl, think. What you need there, that's 12 and 8, that's 4 and 16. Let's take 12 and 8. We'll put a well there. Perfect. So we have a well to be built and a log cabin to be built. Now we do not have enough people and we've got somebody homeless. So the priority is this. This is the priority. Now, what are we short of? Let's have a look. Stone and logs, I think. The reserve of tools is low. Yes, we don't have any. We have one tool, so people are getting tools. Good. And we have one builder who can do the labouring until we have the foundation complete. Yeah, they're building the roads first. It always slows us down, but we'll be grateful of those come winter. So let's again put the priority on this. Guys, this is the first thing. We want this house. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I'm taking, we do need a stockpile there, I think. Oh no, they can put it in this one. Plenty of piles. And that is a fuel pile, nice. And that's a wood pile, perfect absolutely perfect the reserve of wood is low we are cutting trees down guys it's a patience game at this point the food is all right we have herbs and we have firewood and coal so we're not doing too badly 
Um, while we're looking at that, what we could do, and I mustn't keep my eye off, mustn't take my eye off the ball too much here. Hang on. Move the well up. But what I could do is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And up here we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we will just turn it sideways. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whoa, misplaced. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Can I get in there? Eleven. Leave a gap there. Actually, just, just put the fence in. That's it. I'd like that tree to be taken down, actually. Then I can see whether I've got that right. Let's take that one down. Harvest that tree. Right, how are we doing? Oh, guys, our first, first log cabin. Look at this. Beautiful. Good for that builder. Building your own house there, mate. As soon as you've built that house, you can move in. I do love the graphics on this. I absolutely love it. And I love the fact I can go in so close. <clears throat> I must say that now I've got one person in each of these, I'm feeling a little bit better about life. We now have 21 tools. That's good news. The reserve of fuel is low. We have got two choppers going, so I'm not that unhappy about it. Unless somebody gets cold, please tell me nobody's getting cold. Right. Oh, look at this. He's dressed in red. It's a red jumper for winter. That's wonderful. We need a smoking shed for our fish soon. So how are we doing down here? Nice. Such a pleasant little community. And look, it looks nice with the fences. It looks really nice with the fences. Yeah, that is totally wrong. So if we click on that and remove it, there we go. <coughs> right, how are we doing? He's just got to build it. This poor little builder. Look at him working away like mad to get his house built. I wonder who is his partner going to be, what he's going to partner, or who he's going to partner up with. There's two of them came in. We've got deer hide, arm tools, salmon, tallow, venison and wool. <clears throat> that means that we could have a fireplace along here for the venison. That would be nice, wouldn't it? But also, more importantly, we can get some wool clothes. So let's have a look at this. An extension to the left. Okay. It has to go there. Looks odd, but I think that will build all right. Let's put that down there. <clears throat> Excellent. We have our first log cabin. And we've got a blacksmith and a builder. Brilliant. So that's working well. That's working very well. Um, the sheep run can come out. We're building the well. This can move down. And we are building a workshop. So we're not building too much. And these, I think, these will start to work. So let's look at this. Let's put the tool limit up. And here we've got charcoal limit. We're not going to reach that. Let's put our limits up a bit. <coughs> right, now, we are going to need a proper forester's hut or someone who will act as a forester. 
and we have this mine here now what does this need to be built let's build the mine we're going to need that the workshop I'm going to use to make clothes and I'm going to put another workshop on that side so we've got two workshops. Let's note that we've got two workshops being built. <coughs> that all looks very good. Oh my goodness, these guys are doing well. Look at that venison. Well, we're certainly not short of food there. These little huts look fairly primitive. Um, is that one big stop? pile it is with clay firewood and stone do I I would like to empty it but I think what I'd really like to get in can I get a campfire in somewhere it, it seems to fit with the wigwams doesn't it could put one in there that would look better Is that where I want the campfire? It is. Right, we're going to build that campfire as well. So we're building quite a lot now, guys. Now, what is being built at the moment? Oh, they're building the mine first. Oh my goodness, we've got the mine built. Now, for the mine, we are going to need lamp oil. And we're going to need... Right stockpiles as well so storage stockpiles they're going to need mine props so when you have a mine let's do the the road to this mine as well let's do a road always helpful can i get one in there i can we're going to put a dirt road in there that comes around here and goes up to the mine all right now they're going, let me think about what they need. I know that they're going to need a big wood pile because they use a lot of mine, of, oops. They use a lot of props to prop up the mines. We've got more nomads and we are going to allow you to join. Right, and of you, two laborers, I think we'll have one, two laborers and one builder, perfect absolutely perfect but one of you I think is going to be a miner so let's look at the mine they're maintained to make iron ore we will put what my poor nomads always go down the mines guys one of you is going to be a miner yeah let's put the ore limit up right and then here we're going to need an ore pile Hopefully. And a wood pile. And what else will they need? Fuel pile, perhaps. Because they're going to use lamp oil. Let's put a fuel pile there. Clay they won't use or or charcoal. Because what they know what they need for the mine are pit props and lamp oil. The well has been built. Gosh, I love these wells, guys. They're so gorgeous. The little well covering, we like that very much. So we have a well, good. And the workshops are now the next to be built. The campfire has been built. We've got one laborer and one builder. I'm not in, now if we, we've got a lot of venison. How are we doing on storage? It's 93% full. I think we need some more. That is 39% full. But this would be a good area to have some storage, wouldn't it, guys? We've got a quarry to be built there. We can... Let me have a look. We've got a small barn. The big barn, yeah. The only storage we can take are these which is quite nice because we'll put it next to our log cabin and it will look really good next to that so we'll put it there so we've got a storehouse to be built there and obviously this is the area 
where they want to store things. Um, and that's where the venison is. And I've put the campfire down here. Let's not... Well, he doesn't have a storage, does he? And a little bit of storage down here would not go amiss. Could I get another storehouse down here? Storehouse. Hmm. I would love to have a storehouse here. I don't see why not, guys. I think next to the venison production. Right there. Okay, and another storehouse there. This is quite a lot of storage and building, isn't it? Trading dock, we need wheelbarrows. We're not there yet. We are still trying to build these workshops. Nomads have arrived, and I think they need a house. And we're going to have miners here. Now, that mine is going to have a big circle. So, as well as a storehouse, we could do with another house down here. That would be... Let me see if I could turn it around that way. Oh, that would be great. That would be great for the miners. That's good. The reserve of fuel is low, I know. That's okay, we're not too unhappy about that. And the reserve of stone is low, inevitably. So we need to collect this stone. Well, let's, let's collect the nearest stone there and then let's collect stone there and then I think I think here that we need to put a woodcutter in but it's so useful having the labourer and the builder at the moment to get ourselves up and running a bit um, are we short of wood not at the moment it's we will be shortly I know um, but let's see on wood. I want to keep this wood here, but we could collect the stone there because that will help with the hunting. So let's collect the stone there. All right. I can tell her we're going to have to build the quarry, but I'm quite anxious to get the houses built. So let's put a priority again on housing. It's much easier for people to live if they have housing. The food is okay, not doing too badly, but we need to think about this. Could do with a house. Oh, the, the fisherman probably lives down here. Yeah, the hunter's there. Fisherman and blacksmith, that's fine. And the blacksmith, yeah, we need more houses up here. This is where we need them. Oh, we've got stone here. Jolly good. You're just standing doing nothing. What are you doing? Oh, you're a hunter, you're cold. Hmm, are we suffering from cold? Is any house without firewood? No, it's not. Sorry, I was muttering a bit there, guys. Right, guys. Let us take a short break there. And I hope I see you in the next episode. Bye-bye, guys.